heard last two years you were coming back from knee injuries. What does it mean to you to start in this game and knowing the history and everything involved? I'm excited about it. You know, I think uh, it's that much more special for me just because um, you know I had to work to come back and um, I wasn't able to be a part of it the past two years. But um, you know, it's a, it's an awesome experience. Just having the chance to come out here—it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, it's fortunately we've been out here three times now, so we want to make sure we make the most of it. We'll go back row on the left. Matt, how do you go about attacking a Stanford defense that in and of itself is, is an attack, get after the quarterback, be disruptive in the backfield kind of defense? We're extremely impressed with on tape. I, mean, I think they're very well coached. And that's something that we talk about. You know, that's a cliche we all use, but they, they truly are gap sound. Um, they're assignment sound. But they got very good football players. So uh, we're going to do the best we can to move the ball in every way possible, run it, throw it, all the ways that we all do. Uh, to try to score points, but they are a very good defense. Obviously, um, their tackles for loss, their sacks, just the way they pursue the football is, is impressive. They're a very, very good, very, very good team. There's a reason they're ranked where they're ranked, the reason they won their league. We'll go second round on the left again. In fact, this is your third year in a row. Has it lost any of its luster? Do you still feel the jitters that you're at the Rose Bowl? What's it like? I think it's put us in a, in a better position. You know, the first year you come out here, and, um, maybe you're a little bit shaky, a little nervous about playing in the Rose Bowl and you know, the Granddaddy of them all. And the second year you come out and, and you really don't want to take advantage of what you're doing, but you, you've been out there, you've done it before, you kind of walk the walk. So you, you go in there trying to do it. And, and, and the third year, it's we've really experienced everything that we've done out here, and, and now it's truly all about the game. Um, we're enjoying ourselves this week, but um, there's a tremendous amount of focus on the game this year. Sorry, I just wanted to follow up along with that. Travis, are you planning on defending your B full title? Or you've said, I know in the past that you're, again, focused on the game, but is, are you going to do that? No, this year, uh, like I said, it's, it's really all about the game. I do plan on going out there and enjoying a few steaks there. The, the most delicious steaks that I've ever had, but probably not eat this year. <laughs> we'll go on that back left here. Matt, why, how different is the running game, the success of the running game from the start of the season to now where you've had a couple of 500-yard games in the last few? Uh, what's different about it? Uh, I think, you know, it's a multitude of things. Our players are playing better. Our players play. And um, our scheme truly, we did evolve over time. And I think we found, you know, different wrinkles we could use. And we found things we had to do, um, certain things didn't, you know, early on in the year, didn't work as well as we might have hoped. So uh, needed to make some changes uh, and evolve as confidence. So we certainly did that. I take, you know, accountability for that. Not maybe getting those things done as early, but you know, I, I, I give all the credit to our players. Players play. Um, you know, our job as coaches is really fun. We sit around and watch film all day long. We draw up plays, hope they work. And players make good ones, you know, Really bad plays work when, when they play well, and really good plays don't work when they don't. So uh, all the credit goes to our players, and I, and I sincerely mean that. Our players came together. Uh, you know, for whatever reason, as you look at things, they, they were coming off of two Rose Bowls, and, and all you know, I think we needed to get a little bit of focus, and that happened over time for a multitude of reasons. But as you look at us getting into conference play, our kids played very well. And, you know, fought through injuries, lost guys, all those things that come around. So great. Great credit for our players. Second row on the left. So once our coach, uh, I don't know if you can speak for the other five assistants that aren't returning after this game, but what's had you guys focused, considering everything that's in your future and most motivated to win this game for Wisconsin? I'm motivated to win this game for these players, and I, again, I don't have much to do with it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that go with it. I'm not going to get into all that. To be honest with you, other than. I'm coach, I'm calling plays in the Rose Bowl. So you look at just what we're talking about for me, uh, that's an exciting, that's what you want to do in our profession. And we've got a great offensive staff. As much fun as probably I've ever had through as much turmoil and adversity as a lot of people you know, could go through with a lot of things. So we enjoy our players. So we're gonna we're enjoying this week. Uh, but I certainly agree with, with what the guys have said. It's all about the game. I mean, we're out here to, to go play a football game. And, Play a very good football team, however it goes, it goes. We're excited to go play the football game and 
when that's over, we'll all move on. And, um, it's really not, you know, all the things that have happened are unique, but truly every year a season, when a season ends, the team changes. You might lose a coach or two. A player's a seniors move on. Some guys come out. And that's what we've talked about with our team. We get one more shot uh, to be together. So we're going to enjoy it. And it's here at the Rose Bowl. So it's a pretty good place. We'll go on the left again. Travis, do you remember the last time Wisconsin played Stanford in the Rose Bowl in 2000? Do you have any recollection for that game? I can honestly say I did not watch that game. Um, I uh, was not a huge college football fan growing up. Um, it was just something I, I never really watched or, or paid attention to. Um, I watched pro football a little bit. Um, that was kind of a bigger focus for us. So I, I honestly can say I did not watch that game. Kurt, do you have any? No, I'm saying that. I don't know. Don't fall off. But now you're interested. Right? <laughs> we'll go on the second row on the left again. Uh, Travis, you mentioned you're not going to defend your title, but is there a favorite, I guess, that you have for this beef hole? Um, fellow offensive lineman Dallas Llewellyn can really can really eat a lot of a lot of food. He often does it every day in and out of training tables. So. Uh, Hopefully he'll step up to the plate and continue on the tradition. We'll go in the back row on the right. Travis, for you, what sense of accomplishment do you have in this season where obviously wasn't going the direction you wanted it to and being one of the leaders on the team, not here, I would imagine it would be completed by getting it done in Pasadena, but what, what sense of accomplishment are you thinking about right now? You know, I think there's a tremendous amount of uh, accomplishment in the amount of growth that we've had as a team. Um, obviously, we were not playing the way that we wanted to play at the beginning of the year. Um, we really have evolved. We've evolved as an offense. We've evolved as a team. And everyone's played better, played more together, played for each other as we've moved forward throughout the year. And uh, we've really grown as a team week in and week out. Now, we've stumbled along the way, things like that. Uh, but I think the team has really come together. And I think just seeing that, and that's something you guys probably can't see from the outside, but from the inside, um, I take a great amount of pride in the ability that, that, that we've had to come together as a team. We'll go on the right again. Matt, you've had the chance to work with a lot of great running backs, but are you kind of like a mad scientist when you have the chance to have three great weapons? I'm not smart enough to be a bad scientist, but uh, I mean it's it's awesome. I mean you look at you know you look at Hagen and to Melvin, um, you know championship game and what he was able to do, and that's something these guys could you know attest to. We see that in practice. You know he's he's a young player who's come on, and you look at that's probably you know all the way around, but at running back as well, the way guys have stepped up. You know, this program lost some really really good football players last year on offense. You know a bunch of guys who played a lot of ball who are still playing. There's some guy playing in Seattle, I guess he's having a pretty good year, everybody's talking about so, uh, Obviously, I don't need to watch that stuff, but um, in all seriousness, those three backs that have played so well for us, you watch James White, he came to work every day, and um, Monty gets all the credit, and it is well deserved for what Monty's done, but you look at what James comes in, the big play, when you watch our explosive plays, James White's unbelievable when the Melvin's coming, so uh, it's a lot of fun to, to be around great players, and uh, their coach is, was a pretty good player. I got to coach him, so uh, that's a pretty good room. It's a pretty special room, so I enjoy, I enjoy watching. 